so we don't get our stuff uh, to, uh, taken. And what we're going to do is we're going to store it and wait for the um, court's decision. Uh, we will occupy all night. We will be here all night. Uh, we will be here up until the decision of the courts. And then we'll come back as a GA and decide what we need to do. Yeah, is there any, I mean, is that going to make you want? Because I know we've talked to the city officials who said, you know, it's a pretty clean operation. You know, there's nothing, you guys are up to go. Um, and then all of a sudden they say, no, you're not. What do you think about that? I just think that the 1% has a lot of money to change a lot of minds. Not a session in the sense of giving up our message. Showing solidarity with our brothers in Huntington and sisters in Huntington. Okay, great. Thanks for coming out, man. No problem. Thank you for being here. What are you doing out here? Uh, I guess I just came to help clean up and everything. Don't want to leave the, the streets all littered and stuff, unfortunately. I'm really sad. Yeah. How long <laughs> you been here? Um, I've been here since it started. What, it's been eight weeks now? Eight or nine? Yesterday at 4 p.m., uh, the police department came down and told us that we have 24 hours to evict um, our, uh, all of our stuff. The reason for that is, uh, was, is there's a few is a few kind of Trump charges. Um, again, I've been here since day one. The, uh, the charge that they had for, uh, for fire barrels and propane heaters specifically, which I have seen neither in camps at all since day one. the meeting, stand together, and plus when we thought we were going to get arrested in Charleston, you guys came down for us. So if we didn't come down here, that would be just messed up. So what's going on here? A lot. Are we going to be back? Yes. What are we? 99%. What are we? 99%. Are we Washington, Washington wants us all to like fight for the state. They got bailed out! We took the 
supporter. We love supporters. There's another one. Mercenary trades. the naughty list. <laughs> Are you cold? Are you cold? Yes, I'm freezing. Are they going to freeze us out? No, nope, they're not going to freeze us out. We're going to stay here with my popsicles. <laughs> Our tents may be down, but we are not leaving. you guys through whatever like if you guys need us we'll be here at the drop of a hat that's what it's about how's Ashland everybody. doing yeah I mean it doesn't matter where you're at whether it be your home or whether it be someplace else you're supporting everybody right and that's what this is about it's about everybody it's not just about like the people that are standing here it's not about hunting the natives it's not about like you know the natives of New York or the natives of Boston it's not about like every every place over in Europe is protesting over this. It's about just humanity and how we feel like that we really need to actually have our chance. And it's not fair that one percent of the population actually gets their chance, and we have to stand aside and just take up the scraps. We're doing corporate bailouts with tax dollars that we pay to banks that we already pay and 
that right there and enough says that this is wrong. Everything about it is wrong. There is no prospect of it that's right. So we really all need to speak up and the only way anybody's going to realize it's wrong is if they hear our voice. So if you got to stand out in the cold or you got to do anything else, then do it. I mean, anybody, step up. Where are you from? I am a Huntington native. I know what you're going to do. You know what? Right now, this is the grassroots up. What you see in here, this is the grassroots up. These people you see in here, these people you see in the other places, this is the grassroots up. What needs to happen is people need to wake up and realize we need to come together and we need to make this thing happen as a whole. And we can change the direction that we're going into. We don't need to worry about who's going to be a Democrat, who's going to be a Republican, or who's going to be an Independent. We ain't going to, you know, all that shit is like all that shit. We as a people, we the people, we the people. Never forget that as part of our Constitution. We the people. And as long as we stand behind that concept, dude, we're going to be all right. You are showing that this, with this here, this, uh, uh, occupied, you're showing that we're the people here, Philadelphia, Dallas, New York, wherever it is that you have people who are committed to being out here, out here what to do, what to do. We are the people. We are the people. And until the rest of the world starts waking up and get, get past their complacency <laughs> and being like, well, you know what, because they're out there doing that's one thing. But they don't understand what you're doing, you're standing for the rights of everyone. See what I'm saying? You're standing for my rights. You are standing for my rights. You're standing for the rights of whoever it was. We're right here blowing the hole. Okay? And I salute you for that. I salute everyone that's out here for that. Now, I need to get my unit. I really do. I'm not sure what it is I can do to get my unit. SEIU, 1199. And we probably are in, in, in other areas. We probably are in other areas who are, are standing strong and supporting what's going on right now. As far as here locally, we need to work on starting to stand strong. We need to start staying strong and representing that what's going on needs to be recognized by us. <laughs>